at Dungeness left Townsville at um, about five o'clock this morning it's now about seven and um, it's a beautiful day so the plan is to go around the island um, because the weather is so nice we shall see how we go so that's Hinchbrook Island over there that's where we're planning to go all right around it 130k, 120k. <laughs> Zoe Bay. We got up this morning at um, I think we got up at 4:30, left Townsville by five, and uh, got to Ingham 6:30. Um, we were at Lucinda by seven, and now I don't know what the time is right now, but right now we are at Zoe Bay on Hinchinbrook Island. So the aim of today is to go around the island on the jet ski and um really looking forward to that it's a beautiful day it's so stunning it's we've been waiting ages for to have a day like this so thumbs up for a good day 15 up 15 back and i said yeah the bottom's good lots of fish okay so we're going to go for a walk up to the falls up to the rock pool and apparently 15 minute walk up 15 minute walk back let's check it out okay so we're going to go do this little walk. Ask the girl if he can get across for you. It's not too bad with the rocks and stuff. You don't have to drag you too far. 
this is the old moon who's <laughs> horrible. Put their shoes on today. So there's another picnic table in here. They seem to be scattered everywhere. It's beautiful. The canopy is absolutely amazing. That's a turkey fountain for you. Yeah. That's a big one. So that's a turkey mound, is it? Yep. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. That's pretty cool. So we've moved out of rainforest and back into scrub. So up there is um, a pool, but to get there, you're going to go through all these rocks and old people's like us, it's probably a bit too much. Um, we've still got the whole island to go around yet. We don't want to break our bodies too early in, in the day. So we'll head on back and um, go back to the beach and have a, a, some morning tea, or well, breakfast actually. And, um, yeah. Okay. So, let's go and check out the toilet situation for those who are interested. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have. Oh, we do. We have toilet paper. Okay. Well, that wasn't a horrible experience. It certainly wasn't um, as smelly as some of the ones along the highway can get. So, I'm going to go back and have a little bite to eat. And a drink of water. And then we'll go on our way. So we've got a few more boats coming in now because the tide's on its way in. Um, still a beautiful day. Sorry, bad goes all the way around. I'm not going to go all the way around because we kind of need to get back on the jet ski and get on our way. Um, going around the island's about 130 kilometres and we've probably done about 25, so we've still got a very long way to go. But it was nice to stop and um, just have something to eat, have a little drink, and then go for that walk down to down to the creek. How gorgeous is that? It's stunning, isn't it? Let's go a bit closer. It's beautiful. You can see why some people say it's the Jurassic Park of Australia.
perfect day. Check it out. It is so beautiful today. It's definitely the day to be doing a around the island trip on the jet ski. So Eric's found something over here. Let's go and have a look and see what he's found. It's gonna be ball, whatever it is. A foster car. Let's see if he's found it. What is it? It's like a man-made buoy. Lots of shit put in it. Oh, okay. It's got little stickers on it, but like... it's tied it all together with the oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Not a filament fishing line, five kilometers. Yep. Okay, so what does it say? It says 3.8 mil. So I don't know what it is. The lot is 1911250, so if anybody knows what that is, <laughs> it's sitting here on the beach. This gorgeous rusty old, old chain. just to stop and have a bite to eat. Got this little spot in here, no idea where we are. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to make sure those logs aren't moving in the water because that's not the kind of log that we're looking for. Yeah, we just found this little spot. 
great little spot to have a bite to eat. Just sitting down here. It's really nice. So we're now four hours into the trip. A little bit longer to go. just pop in here and give you a couple of facts and figures about the the trip so we traveled for 133 kilometers and we went from um, the southern point up the north and then back down around we did between 45 and 50 kilometers an hour we used about 60 liters of fuel from a 70 liter tank and we were on the ski for three and a half hours and all up the trip, including stops, took us five hours. So we left um, Lucinda at seven in the morning and we were back there just after 12. Would I do the trip again? Yes, I would. It was, especially on the day that we had, it was absolutely magnificent. We, we were talking uh, while we were on the trip about the possibility of actually driving further north and heading up to Cardwell and then maybe putting the ski in there and coming around from that direction only because it'd probably be a little bit shorter trip to get to where those beautiful pristine beaches were, um, where we found that little homemade um, buoy thing on the on the beach. That was just really beautiful, uh, sandy beaches, clear water. It was just gorgeous. So it would be nice to go back and visit that part of the island again. I would go back to Zoe Bay again as well. That's a great spot to camp. So uh, you do have to book to camp on on Hinchinbrook Island. They do limit it to only a certain number of people on the island at any given time, which is great. It means that there's not thousands of people surrounding you while you're um, in this gorgeous paradise. Anyway, if you um, enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. The reason for giving it a like is it makes it available or more visible to other people who like jet ski videos and to all if they like Hinchinbrook Island and please consider subscribing because we're going to be heading over to Bali next and uh, by subscribing you won't miss the videos that come out of that. So until next time, take care, bye.